What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is Lillian, and if you're not, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am animating No Neck J and Cooking with Kaya with No Neck J as a character on South Park and Cooking with Kaya as a character on Fairly Odd Parents. I will be sharing a bunch of tips and tricks for animating and procreate and procreate dreams, and just in general for digital animation. Stick around to the end of the video to see the final creation. Now, over to Procreate Dreams. Tip number one, preparation. Start by preparing as many assets as possible so you can grab and go. Think of all the possible mouth frames and body poses you'll need and have them ready for when you're piecing your animation together. This works especially well if you're going the puppet animation route. Puppet animation is an animation technique where pre-drawn assets like mouth shapes or body parts are moved or swapped to create the illusion of motion rather than redrawing each frame. For example, I created most of my assets ahead of time in Procreate and I just edit them where they fit best in Procreate Dreams. Tip number two, organize. Take advantage of the group feature in whatever program you are animating in. In my case, it is Procreate and Procreate Dreams. The more organized you are, the easier it will be to navigate through your animation process. Less stress, more fun. Also, focus on one element of the body at a time. I start with the body poses, then I adjust the eyes, maybe add a blink here and there, then the nose and mouth, specifically the lip sync, and then the head, referring to the tilting and head turns where necessary. And then I will go back and make adjustments with movement and rotation of the arms, legs, or body, wherever necessary as well. And again, this aligns more with puppet animation. Tip number three, lip sync. That brings us to syncing the mouth to the audio. When syncing lip movement to audio, timing is everything. Lip sync is the process of matching a character's mouth movements to dialogue or sound. Change the mouth frame just before or exactly on the sound. This avoids any awkward delays. Use your judgment to decide which mouth pose fits best with each sound. If your character is talking too fast for the eye to follow, don't be afraid to leave out a frame or two. Remember, animation is all about creating the illusion of life. Instead of mimicking video references directly, listen closely to the audio. This helps you choose frames and poses more intuitively. Lastly, keep your mouth movements consistent. No jumping frames. Use Procreate's onion skin feature or flip through your frames often to make sure everything lines up. Onion skin is a tool in animation software that lets you see the previous and next frames overlaid on the current frame, like semi-transparent layers. Tip number four, frames per second. Before animating, decide on your frames per second. It's a crucial step. Frames per second is the number of individual frames displayed in one second of animation, which determines the smoothness of motion. Changing it later can mess with your timing and throw off your project. For fast speech and detailed lip sync, a higher frames per second might work better than a lower frames per second, as it gives you more frames to work with. Remember, frames per second determines how many drawings fit into a single second. So plan ahead to make sure your animation feels smooth and polished. Tip number five, fundamentals. Never forget the fundamentals of animation. They're the backbone of every great project. No matter the genre, animation principles can enhance your work and bring out the emotion and energy you're trying to convey. Manipulating your elements carefully and intentionally will help you craft a believable illusion. Tip number six, Trust the process. Finally, trust your gut and trust the process. If something feels off, don't hesitate to delete a frame or adjust the timing. Sometimes small changes can make a huge difference. Timing and animation is the spacing and duration of frames to control the rhythm and flow of an animation. Slow timing makes movements feel weighted or subtle, while fast timing creates energy and urgency. And most importantly, be creative. Have fun with it. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you're working to improve in your animation process or some tips you'd like to share as well.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And now for the finished animation. Damn, it's worth some sand. Don't they get anyone to hold it? Cooking with Kaya. We got cooking and Kaya anyone. <laughs> hey, man, say, man. Question number one. Write me one through ten, my fit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. How I'm coming, how I'm looking with that mother. Because I like sparkly stuff. Oh, you like? I'm sparkling a little bit. Yeah. Talk shit with shoes anymore? Yeah, shoes cute. I like you see a little purple? That's my favorite color. For real? Hey, yeah. Nice pink. What? Mm -hmm. Tight shit, tight shit. All right, cool. Second question. Boom, you see my big ass, right? Mm -hmm. What is you cooking me on a Sunday dinner? Sunday, not, nah. Matter of fact, we're going to go switch it up to Thursday. Thursday dinner, what you Thursday cooking? Thursday dinner? Uh, probably, probably like a pot roast with some... A pot roast? Mm-hmm. Some cornbread and macaroni. Ooh. <laughs>